Daily Da. It's Tuesday morning. It's uh, a little overcast. At this time of season, Southern California, it's, it's kind of like this after like bright summer. But it clears out in you know midday, like absolutely. 268 nature. My back is stooped from scholarship. My eyes are dimmed by history's words. Surrounded though I may be by learning, I still cannot compare with nature's perfection. Just from this oral sentence, you can't really see what it's trying to imply. See what it says, the rest. Learning is a passion shared by many of us. Yes, I agree, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. The reason, you know, of this one is of learning, to want to learn. There is a great allure to education and a fascination with the accomplishments of civilization. Yes, we go to libraries and museums. We go to exhibit showing the diggings from royal tombs. We are enchanted with the new inventions, and yet, if we look out our windows and see a tree in its perfection, or gaze into a tide pool, or watch a cat as it strolls its territory, or see the flash of a blue jay, we can see another order of beauty and intelligence in this life. <laughs> While it's human's intelligence or human's achievement is absolutely different than nature's, we are far below than nature's synchronization or collaboration or in nature's intelligence is far beyond us. The works of humanity cannot compare to the works of nature. Absolutely, there's no way. The works of civilization lack the balance and refinement of nature. Well, yes. Too many times our accomplishments are tainted by impure motives, profit, hardship, desire for fame, simple greed. Wow, that's humans. We do have that in deep inside of our, you know us. We achieve, but we cannot foresee the result because we are un un we are unable to place our actions into a greater context. Our yeah, to me, I absolutely agree. Our scope of the understanding, it's. It's a limited. It's sometimes, sometimes I explain this way. Uh, my son, all right, what's a one inch? Can you to understand the distance? Can you, you know, measure that in in your mind? And then, yeah, it's like about that. What about million inches? Are you be able to actually picture that distance? We can't. Humans not able to do that. So. Sometimes we are talking about forest or spatial time. Not sure if we are talking about we actually the matter that we know or we just saying it abstractly. Nature is conglomeration of contending forces. Yes, of tooth and claw, venom and perfume, mud and excrement, eggs and bones, lightning and lava. It seems chaotic, it seems terrible, and yet for all its unfathomable workings, it far surpasses the business of our society. Think about what you do. How much of it can compare to the perfection of nature? Well, simple. You know, it, people 
people get heavier. It's absolutely against the nature. And people eat without any feeling of starving. That's absolutely different. Even though like a, oh, we call the predators, lions, the tigers, if they're full, they don't hunt, they let. If they're hungry, they eat. What about humans? Are we doing that? No. Somehow we eat even though we're not hungry. We're starving and we craving for without any clear reason in deep in mind. That's we're absolutely not that close. Even like we not even we can't even close the nature, the perfection. But what we could do, we could think about it. If we think about it, we sometimes stop us from doing unreasonable matters. Think about that. That's absolutely going to helpful for you. All right. Thank you. See you tomorrow.